Yo, Adam Saxon here with Guy in a Cube. Another week, another roundup. There were a ton of updates coming out of Pass Summit 2018. So much so, they were wasabi mustard sauce hot. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, let's dig in. We got the Power BI service and mobile app feature summary for September and October. This included a bunch of items over the last two months, which includes the new home screen and global search. It includes the fact that aggregations are now available in the service. It talks about commenting the new regions that are available in Power BI, and it mentions the business application release notes. If you're not familiar with these, there's a link down below. This is where you can find what is coming for Power BI. And there were a few new items that were added to the list. So you can check out this blog post down in the description below and find all the updates. We have a blog post from Arun that is a high level look at some of the major updates that were announced. It also talks a little bit about Power BI Desktop, what you can expect for November, even though that hasn't been released yet. Lots of cool stuff in this blog post, especially if you just want a really quick high level of what these items are. Digging into some of those details, Chris Finland's got a blog post talking about the new paginated reports that are inside of the Power BI service now, specifically inside of Power BI Premium. This is paginated reports. These are the RDL reports that were part of reporting services, and these are now available for public preview inside of the Power BI service. This is awesome. This blog post does a really good job of walking through what you can expect with this feature. There's also a video that goes along with it, just walking through how to actually use and what you can expect from this feature. So if you're using Power BI Premium, get excited about RDL reports, paginated reports inside of Power BI. We got a blog post introducing the new feature Power BI Data Flows. This is huge. This is a really cool feature. This was announced at Pass Summit 2018. It is in public preview. You can go start using this today. It does not require Power BI Premium. You can use this with any workspace, but you will be limited on the amount of data you can actually consume with it. This blog post does a great job of walking through how you can actually create your first data flow and what to expect from it. There is also a video introducing data flows embedded in the blog post, as well as a longer, more in-depth video done by Matthew Roach over on the Power BI YouTube channel. There's a link in this blog post as well. If you're excited for Power BI data flows, in the comments down below, just go ahead and drop hashtag data flows. So to find the link for this blog post, go ahead and check out the description down below, as well as all the items discussed in this roundup, including some bonus items. Go check it out. There are two updates to the Power BI Premium Metrics app for your capacities. This app is used to actually monitor resource consumption inside of your premium nodes. The first update has to do with query metrics. There are two new items inside of the app related to query metrics. This is query duration and query weights. Both of these items can be used to determine if your capacity is running hot, meaning that it is really you know, overuse or oversaturation. So this along with other items can really paint the full picture of what your capacity is doing. The second update for the app is the fact that now that paginated reports and data flows are in public preview, you can now see those workloads inside of the app as well well, because these are workloads that can run on your premium capacity. So if you've enabled those, you can see some of those metrics inside of this capacity metrics app as well. If you're running data flows inside of shared capacity, not inside of dedicated capacity, you won't see anything in this metrics app. This is only specific to items running or workloads running in your capacity itself. We also got an updated mobile app. And part of the update for this mobile app is the fact that you can run paginator reports in the mobile app that are running on the service. So if you're deploying paginator reports to Power BI and you wanna use the mobile apps, you can actually interact with those paginator reports directly into the mobile app signed into the Power BI service. So this is really great. They are available now. You could do this before with on-premises, but now you can do it with reports hosted in the Power BI service. So be sure that you've updated your mobile app to the latest version if you wanna take advantage of this feature. All right, I wanna pass this off to you. What was your favorite item this week? Either something I mentioned or something else you saw. Maybe there was another announcement I didn't highlight. Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and let me know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome. 
and we'll see you in the next video.